Hey guys, what is up? Okay, so today we're going to cover how I give our motorhome a quick wash and a quick wax. It takes me about 30 minutes. Details coming up on RV Street. Okay, let's get right to it. Remember when we were down in RGV this winter and I did a full detail wash and wax, polished, put rejects on there and all that? Doing that full detail, it took me pretty much all day. But I only do that twice a year, okay? But in between times while we're traveling or whatever, and I don't have access to a campground or they don't allow me to use water or I can't wash it or whatever, I still want to keep the coach looking nice and keep the dirt and the dust off and water stains and all that type of thing. So about three years ago, I met a guy, a full timer, who introduced me to a product that does a fantastic job. And so I'm going to cover that today. Now this product is called Wash Wax All and it comes in a kit and there are three different kits. And it's, you can use it with water or it's a waterless product, okay? It, it's just a great product to use when you want to do something nice and quick and get uh, that dirt and stuff off and give it a nice shine again. And you don't want to spend a lot of time doing it. And also, you can use this anytime, anywhere. And just to get this out of the way, I am not doing this for this video for Wash Wax All. I'm not being sponsored. I'm not being paid. Uh, as you know, all of my videos that I do, I do with products that I buy and I use on a regular basis. So I just wanted to get that out of the way right off the bat. Now my Wash Wax All kit is three going on four years old. So I don't have all the original packaging and the other items that you get in there and all of that. So I'm going to cover the main things that I use all the time. So let's cover the three kits that are available. You can see the first one here, and it has an aluminum pole. Now, these, this aluminum pole is the type that I, sh that I explained in my uh, detail washing. It's the kind that you untwist, raise it up, twist it back. It's telescoping, but it's a big hassle to use. It's not something that is quick and easy. The second kit that you see here is basically the same thing, only it's a different length aluminum pole. Same uh, concept. You untwist it, you bring it to length, you twist it back, and so forth. I hate those kind of poles. But then there's the third type of kit. It's called the Deluxe Kit. And that's the kit that I use and that I bought. You've seen me use this pole before. It has this type of a pole. There's no twisting. There's no turning and locking. It has these little holes here where you can bring it to the length you want and lock it right in there. If you need it longer, you bring it forward and lock it in there. When you're done, it just closes right up. And this is why this is the kit that I recommend. For doing RVs, man, this thing makes uh, washing and using this wax all a snap. And as I showed you in uh, some of the other videos, the other ways I use this pole. For example, here's a quick little tip on how I use this pole in that washing and detailing video. All right, so now we're going to use the brush and extend that baby up, lock it into place, and let's do this. Now out of these three kits, amazingly enough, the kit that I'm showing you that comes with this pole, the deluxe kit, it's the cheapest of all three kits. The differences between the first two with the aluminum uh, pole, the only difference basically is the different length of pole, okay? The ingredients and everything you get in that kit are basically the same. So when you get the kit, as I said, you have a couple other little detailing bottles and stuff in there. I've already used those and I've never replaced them. What I use mainly is the Wash Wax All Solution. It comes in a gallon jug. This is the gallon that I bought three years ago. So it show, you can see how long this lasts, okay? I mean, it lasts a long time. And what I do is I just, I got me a small little sprayer and I just fill up my small sprayer as I need it, okay? The kit also comes, of course, with the pole. 
It comes with a mop head and it comes with a pair of mop covers. Now, I want to just cover, there's a lot of different poles out there. They're round, they're square. I mean, these things here are so inferior to this model and I'm going to show you why. As I said, these come with two mop heads. Now, I bought an extra bag of, of, of mop heads. There's two sets in here. So I've got one set here, one set here, and then I have another set that came with this unit. And I'll explain to you in a minute why I bought these extra mop heads. So here's how it works. You take these mop heads and you can see that they're somewhat tapered at the top and they attach with Velcro. You see that? So what you do is you take the top part, the short part, and you attach it to the top. You see that? That's one side. Then you take the other side and you put it here like this. So now you have a mop head that has that kind of a shape to it, okay? And it joins here at the top. You screw the pole in here and this part swivels, okay? So you can actually, if you look here, when you're cleaning the coach, you, this will swivel. So as you're applying pressure, this will come down and up as you need to, okay? You'll notice also inside this mop head, you have a wet side and you have a dry side. So on the wet side is where you apply the solution. So let me show you how this works. You take the pole and you screw it into the head, tighten it up, you take the solution and you just give a couple quick, maybe three or four squirts there when it's dry, when you're first starting out, okay? Now come on over here, let me show you how this works. So you start from the top with the wet side. You extend the pole up, lock it into place, and you just come down like this here. You see that? And then you turn it over to the dry side and dry it. Now for any of you who think that this is gonna hurt your uh, gel coat or paint, it's not gonna do that. Okay, it just, is, it just doesn't. I have been using this thing for three years. This thing will take off all that light surface dust and all that. And if you remember, because I polish this thing uh, twice a year, I mean, this has got a really nice polish on it. Plus I've protected it with rejects. So this surface is very smooth. But when you're sitting in a campground and cars are going back and forth and you get that light dust, this will get that right off of there. You use the wet side first, turn it over, and do, the, and do the dry. Once you've done about that much, you come back to the wet side, give it a couple more squirts, and continue. Just like that. Turn it over, and dry. If you wanna do your windows, you can do those too. And that's it. I mean, just think about what we just did. We didn't need a ladder, so there's no getting on the roof, or there's no putting a ladder here, you're having to get up there by hand and all that nonsense. You literally can take it just from the ground. And I can do this whole coach in 30 minutes. Very little effort. Now just to show you how this pole is sufficient, this is fully extended. Okay, I mean, look at that. I mean, there is so much room this pole is more than long enough to do any coach. So once you've done the tall part of the coach with an extended pole, you collapse the pole, you go back to the wet side, couple more squirts, and come sideways like this. I mean, you can see how fast this is. I'll come back about that far, turn it over to the dry side, and that's it. I mean, you see how fast this is. And as you guys know, I mean, I'm really anal about keeping our coach clean. So if you're anal about it too, and you, you like to have a clean coach, man, I'm a, and you don't wanna go through all the hassle of washing and detailing and all that nonsense, this is the way to do it. 
Okay, so I have just finished this whole entire side and look at that. We're, we're here in Ohio and we drove all the way from New York to Ohio. It was like 430 miles or something like that. And we landed here and you know, I'm sitting out here and I'm going, man, this coach needs a quick wash. And so that's why I decided to do this video and show you how I do this. And there you go. I mean, look how nice and clean and shiny that is. I never had to get out my bucket of soap, my hose, my ladder, all that stuff. And there you have it. And besides that, this particular park, they don't allow you to wash your coach, but I can do this. It's waterless. Now let's talk about the front of the coach, okay? You can, you can reach all this by hand. So there really is no need for a pole, right? So what I do here is I use a rag and I spray it on here. But I wanted to show you something here because a lot of you who follow me uh, on our channel, you remember when I did the uh, faded graphics back in RGV? Let's go take a quick look at how they're doing. It's almost been a year. Let's go take a look. Look how good these are doing, okay? I had like uh, 325,000 people uh, looking at this video. Got great reviews, by the way. But there were some people there that said, ah, that's not going to last two months. That's not going to last four months, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's the proof in the pudding. But you can see uh, how good that came out. So let's go back up to the front. So you can see here, this is the last one I have to do. I'm going to do this one this winter down in RGV. But this is what those look like. In fact, those back there were even worse than this. This one is not quite as bad. Uh, so I have no um, uh, worries about getting this looking uh, new again. But again, I reject this whole thing, just like I showed you. But with the Wash Wax All, it says I don't need to use the, the uh, pole and the mop head. I just put a little bit on my uh, rag and maybe a couple squirts there and I'll clean this and once I've done that with the wet side I turn the rag over and I use the dry side there's no need to let it dry or anything like that it's instant on polish off kind of like that karate movie right wash on wax off something like that anyway same thing Okay, so that's about it right there. Take a look at that. Look how clean and nice and shiny the front of that coach is. And I did the front with a rag, okay? So back here at the back of the coach, I take the wet side, put a couple of squirts in there, and I usually start from the top and I'll go along the top here, turn it over to the dry side, and so on. I mean, you can see how fast this is. Uh, it's just amazing how quickly you can get your coach looking really nice and shiny, while everybody else down there, eh, not so much. Okay, so now I'm going to show you one of the reasons why I bought those extra mop heads. What I do, as, as I said, the mop head itself comes with two mop heads. But what I like to do is I like to use one set to do half the coach. Then I put on another set and I do the second half of the coach, okay? But what is so cool about this system is I want to just ask you this. When's the last time you've ever cleaned the top of your slides? Especially when you have toppers. Now, I don't know about you, but when Joni and I have, were coming up here to Maine in the spring, both years, the pollen that, I mean, you know how it gets on your cars. Your vehicles just get coated with this green powdery uh, pollen. And you know what? It gets all up there in your slides too. Well, why is that a problem? It's a problem because when you finally pull those slides in to go underway, all that pollen now is sitting on the top of those slides in your coach. So 
you know me, I'm going to be cleaning the top of my slides. I do that also twice a year. And this is what I clean it with, okay? So this is going to be a little tricky um, because Joni, uh, I, I'm not going to have a mic on because this is all I've got, okay? But she's going to be down here and I'm going to try to talk loud so you can see what I'm doing. But I picked this long slide because this is the hardest one. The bedroom slide, it's easy. And this does require a ladder. So I get up on the ladder, I give a quick couple little sprays on that mop head, and then I run it down the slide. And then I pull it back out, and I move it over, and I go down the other side. Okay? And then we're going to see what that looks like. So I put the wet slide down, okay, and now I push it in, and I pull it out. It's cleaning the top of the topper and also the bottom of the slide. So then I move it over and I do the same thing again, all the way in. Now, let's take a look. So you can see that it's really not that dirty because I just did this about a month ago, but I wanted to do it again to demonstrate what I do. Uh, this thing here, man, I tell you what, this thing, when that, <laughs> right after springtime with all that pollen stuff, this thing is nasty. But what's beautiful about this is it cleans the top of the topper and the bottom of the slide and with it being extended like this, the reason I picked this large slide to show you this is because this is the hardest one. Why? Because it's the longest. So what I just did, you see there, I got half of that slide up there. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the ladder on the other side and come back the other way. I'm going to take the camera up there and I'm going to go show you what that looks like since we just cleaned it. Can you see that? You see how nice and clean that is underneath there? There's no dirt. The topper up here is all nice and clean. And that floor right here is nice and clean. And while we're at it, since we're right here, I'll give it a couple more squirts. And I'll do the end of the slide. That's the man right there. So you can see how easy that is. I mean, for me, uh, doing those quick washes and it puts on a light wax uh, on top of it, man, it makes this cleaning this coach so easy. And putting that light wax over that reject is not going to hurt it one stinking bit, okay? So I usually will use this uh, maybe four or five times a year, maybe more. Depends on how dirty it gets. You know, you never know where you're going to be. Uh, but I do a full detail twice a year, and then in between when we're camped somewhere and that coach is looking kind of funky, I get out my mop and pole, take my spray bottle, and I'll wipe this thing down in about 30 minutes. So one last thing, after you have gone around the whole coach and used all these mop heads, you just tear them off of the mop head by Velcro, right, like I showed you, and you just take these and throw them in the washing machine, just like you would anything else, but don't throw them in the dryer. Hang them outside like we do with my crunchy underwear. Remember that, my RGV video? Remember, wash wax all is not for when your coach gets really nasty, like driving in the rain and you get to your destination and your coach and your toad is just filthy. That's gonna require a full wash and detail like we did in RGV. This wash wax all is for those nice light touch-ups, so just keep that in mind. And this product, is really popular amongst full-timers. Just keep your eye open in these campgrounds and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is how I got introduced to this. So Joni and I, about three and a half, four years ago, we were walking through a park and we came across this beautiful uh, diesel pusher. And I looked at Joni and I said, man, look at that. That thing is gorgeous. I'll bet you that thing is only four or five years old. Well, the guy that owned that 
was sitting outside and I just couldn't resist. I walked up to him and I said, man, how do you keep this thing so beautiful? He's the one that introduced me to rejects and wash wax all. Uh, I was a believer then. Now I do want to make a quick comment. I had, there was a, I forget what his name was, but uh, someone wrote in, you know, the comments there in one of our YouTube channel uh, videos. He said, Martin, gosh, the list of things I need to get is growing and growing and growing. And I kind of laughed and I came, I came back with a comment. If you want to take care of your coach, you know, it's not like you just go buy an RV and it's plug and play and you're ready to go. I mean, you, you have to have the right equipment to take care of these things. Otherwise, they're just going to die in slow motion. So I understand, it's not like I'm just trying to tell, you know, sell you a bunch of stuff or anything like that. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you do to really keep your coach and your RV looking top notch and protect it. So if you're interested, I'll go ahead and put links uh, in the description area. Uh, this is the one that I really recommend. I, don't, I, I just cannot fully back the other one because of the hassle of the pole. So to get to those links, just go underneath the video. You'll see show more, click that, scroll down, they'll be right there. If you're on a tablet or a smartphone underneath the video, there's probably a little arrow off to the right, right underneath the video. Click that, scroll down, they'll be right there. And again, Joni and I want to really thank you so much uh, for supporting our channel and using our links. I just can't tell you how much uh, that encourages us that, uh, that you help us. I mean, we're retired like a lot of you are and doing these videos and using our links like this really helps us out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you like this video, if this helped you, if you thought, wow, Martin, that's a really good thing, give me a like button down there. Let me know that you liked this video. And if you're new to our channel and you're not familiar with all the different DIY jobs that we've done and upgrades and stuff like that to make RVing safer, easier to work on and all that stuff, go to our main YouTube channel page and click playlist. Then on that page, click RV Motorhome, Upgrades, Maintenance and DIY How To's. There's already a wealth of information there. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please consider subscribing. It's free. It, co it doesn't cost any money to subscribe to our channel. Just click subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell off to the right so you'll be notified the next time we upload our next video. So there you have it. This is how I give our coach a quick wash and wax while on the road. Until next time, this is RV Street. Stick around. <music>